Hello, my name is Erin Canan and I'm the Dean for Civic Engagement at Bard College. Across the country, colleges and universities have approached the question of inclusion on their campuses by creating pipelines into the traditional liberal arts campus. At Bard, we've approached the question of inclusion slightly differently by asking ourselves, what do we need to do to bring the traditional liberal arts model to communities that have been underserved? By embedding credit-bearing programs in underserved communities, Bard is challenging the idea of who college is for, when it should begin, where it should take place, and where it might lead. Access to a liberal arts education has never been more important to the success of students and the strengthening of democratic ideals. Over the last 25 years, the college has created a network of programs that bring the liberal arts and sciences to communities where it's inaccessible or absent. BARD has developed national initiatives that bring a BARD education and a BARD degree to the corners of American life where people have had the weakest access to liberal education. Young people in low-income public high schools, men and women who are incarcerated, and the working poor. All these programs are led by BARD faculty and held in prisons, public high schools, libraries, and community centers across the country giving credibility to Bard's belief that all institutions of higher education can and should operate in the public interest. As a first generation uh, college student and an immigrant to this country, I always had a great responsibility to ascend to a higher level of education than my parents did. So when I had the chance to apply to high schools, I knew that Bard would be the place that set me on that path. We now have a network of tuition-free programs that include eight public high school early college programs in six cities, the largest prison education program in the country, and a national network of humanities education through the Clemente course and Bard Microcolleges. It offered me an opportunity to have the academic experience that I always wanted, but that I didn't have my first time in attending college. Diverse people from different walks of life were able to come together and just really dive into the content, uh, whether we were discussing artists or a philosopher or a, a historical figure. We were all able to bring our own perspectives, our own life experiences, and being a part of the program increased my self-confidence and my desire to just be a part of community and to engage and just find out what's going on with other people and figure out how I can help and how I can contribute to my local community and society as a whole. BARD has also established deep international partnerships in countries where liberal arts learning is sorely needed and where partner institutions are often lone bastions of democratic thinking. We have seen a profound change in the lives of students who have been denied access through more traditional models of higher education. As a small college in a rural area, BARD's commitment has made a global impact. At Bard, we hope to be a model to other colleges as all of us strive to make higher education more accessible around the country and the world.